Welcome to Sean Story. Story time videos for kids every day of the week. Today's story is Tina Twiddlebug's Big Adventure by Lisa Alexander. One day, Thaddeus Twiddlebug, mayor of Twiddlebug Town, said, It is time that we build a playground for our little Twiddlebugs. Everybody agreed, and since Twiddlebugs don't like to waste time, they got right to work. Tilly and Titus Twiddlebug used two safety pins and a toothpick to build a frame for a swing set. Then they hung buttons from strings to make swings. Tessie Twiddlebug filled a matchbox with sand to make a sandbox and Toby Twiddlebug stuck a ruler on a thimble for a seesaw. Marvelous, 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 said the mayor. This playground is almost complete. Just a minute, said Tina Twiddlebug. My Timmy loves to scramble and climb. We must have a jungle gym for our little Twiddlebugs. Everybody agreed, but nobody could think of what would make a good jungle gym. Tina took a deep breath and spoke up once again. I will fly out into the big wide world and find a jungle gym for my Timmy and all the other little twiddle bugs of our town. There was a hush in the crowd as all twiddling stopped. Very few twiddle bugs had ever ventured out into the big wide world, but Mayor Thaddeus Twiddlebug was all for it. He said, hear, hear, and clapped Tina on the back. All the other Twiddlebugs hugged her and wished her good luck. Brave Tina gave her Timmy a big kiss and took off on her tiny Twiddlebug wings into the big wide world. To Twiddlebugs, the big wide world is any place beyond Twiddlebug Town, which is in Elmo's window box. And the first place next to Elmo's window box is Elmo's bedroom. So when Tina twiddled in through the window, Elmo was sitting on the floor playing a game of jacks. Elmo was concentrating on his game and didn't notice Tina, and that was a good thing because even though Elmo is a friendly little monster, Elmo seemed very big and scary to Tina. Ever so quietly, Tina began to look for a jungle gym. She twiddled softly around the room. Elmo's checkers and his tiddlywinks would make good tables, but not good jungle gyms. His cone would make a nice fence and his dice would make nice chairs but none of these things would be much fun to climb on. What am I to do? wondered Tina. Just then, Elmo gave his jacks an extra big toss and one jack skittered all the way across the floor. Elmo got up and looked for it, but he couldn't find that jack anywhere. Oh well, he said, I've got plenty more jacks. The fuzzy red monster went back to his game, but Tina with her sharp twiddle bug eyes knew just where that jack had gone. She was still a little bit frightened, but when Tina Twiddlebug makes up her mind, there's no stopping her. Tina twiddled right down behind the dresser and snatched the jack up. It's perfect, she thought. Off she flew up from behind the bureau and out Elmo's window just as fast as her tiny Twiddlebug wings could carry her. Back in Elmo's window box, snug in their town, all the other Twiddlebugs waited with their fingers crossed for Tina to come back. When she did, with the Jungle Jack, all the Twiddlebugs sang and twiddled for joy. Tina, said Mayor Thaddeus Twiddlebug, you make us proud to be Twiddlebugs. He named her a hero and hung a bright, shiny medal around her neck. Elmo has never figured out where that Jack went, but you can be sure that to this day, Thanks to Tina Twiddlebug and Elmo, the children of Twiddlebug Town scramble and climb to their heart's content on their very own Jungle Jack in their very own playground. Did you see today's Stumptime Kids? Remember, they're hiding somewhere in story. Leave a comment and tell me what you find.
she set on Rooster's birthday cake. <laughs> oh, no. Share it, share it, share it.